And welcome to another episode of my daily day. So, yes, I'm back in my trusty seat on my laptop. But, as always, I have a topic. Today's topic is... What is the fascination of using the word hate for everything? I know it's a long one, but I see it everywhere. I see... I hate this movie. I hate the road I live on. I hate the trees. I hate everything. Let me explain something to you guys that you probably should already know, but maybe some of you need re-education. The word hate is a very powerful and a word that shouldn't just be used lightly for anything. There's certain things, and you guys can add other things to this too. And but but be realistic. Don't be just saying I hate a particular hockey team or a football team or a or even religion or don't even say politics. I mean, as much as I don't like them, I don't hate it either. Hate is a word that's reserved for. Let's see. I'm just gonna name up a few things. Terrorism, um, rapist, child molesters. Like I said, if you guys want to add to the the list, but like I said, be realistic. Don't don't just be uh, silly because I'll just I'll I'll take your comment, I'll like it, and then I'll delete it because it's already commented for the algorithm. So, but I'm just I can't stand. Seeing that word used for everything. Today I saw it for pineapple on pizza. You can dislike it. But like I said, you can't use the word hey for just everything. It's, it's There should be an unwritten rule that you can't just use it. Because like I said, that's just a word that's so strong and powerful and it hurts when, when it's used against especially against a person it hurts i've had people say it to me whether it's been online or or out in the street i had somebody say that to me at work because i wouldn't give them extra cheese on this sandwich like i hate you for that Wow, like for cheese. I know sometimes you, you you can say that, Rob. You can just brush things off like that. You and yeah, after a while you can. But like I said, guys, it's, that's one of those words that just should only be reserved for really bad uh, things. Because or uh, you can even say. Uh, uh, someone who is infidelity, like you know, someone that cheats on you, you can say that because they promise to love, cherish, and honor, especially in a marriage, you know. You can say it for someone that uh, killed a family member of yours. But there, there is, there is boundaries. On that word you may not think it but ask anybody ask any uh, someone in your family what's one of the most powerful things that you can say to somebody or say about anything and they're gonna tell you that they're gonna tell you hate Shit, I don't even like repeating that word just uh, for this for this video but at least I'm not saying it to anybody it's, it's hurts it hurts when someone says that and you may not think it makes a difference when you say it about um, football team or or uh, something in the news or 
Do we do we all agree with what the news says? No. A lot of us dislike it. Yes. Dislike is a better word. Like even on my Facebook groups, I have a rule on there about that particular word you being used about anything because we're talking about movies. We're talking about people who put their hard earned time into creating something they thought they thought would be okay or likable. But you're, you're, you're going to turn around and use that word just because you didn't like the final results. That's pathetic. That's just, that's pretty fucking pathetic. I respect everybody's ever tried to, m to make a movie. Have I liked every movie? Obviously, no. But I respect them for trying. I respect them for putting their hard-earned uh, time and effort into it. It's more than me or you have ever done. And, and speaking of that, for people who have done movies, fan films, or indie films, or Hollywood, for that fact, how do you, how, how do you like it when someone just says, "Oh, I hate, I hate what you just did"? Blah, blah. How does it make you feel, really? You obviously know that not not everybody's gonna like your film, but at least uh, go a little easier than that. Like when I don't like a film, I just say, "Oh, it's not it's not my kind of movie," or you know, it was oh, it, they tried, but blah blah blah. But I never have publicly come out and said I hated anything of that uh, of that nature, or any actor and actress, or hell, there's been people in my my life in, in real. There's only one person ever in my life that I ever hated. And that was my uh, my stepdad. Well, I'll say two people actually. My stepdad. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little uh, honest here. I'll tell you why that I, I I didn't like these people. Remember the things I said earlier about someone who's violent or someone who's um, you know sexually molested somebody. Well, those are two different people. My stepdad hurt me a lot. He used to beat me a lot. To the point where I, I hated myself. So that's three people. But I found out why. Because it wasn't me. It was how that person made me feel. And the second person. My best friend. Well. Was. When I was growing up, molested me. Made me hard. Made, made it hard for people. From I can't even talk right now. Made it hard for me to trust people. So that's why I say that, you know, when I hear people use that word for stupid stuff, like, oh, it's raining outside, I hate that. Or, uh, oh, I hate that guy who cut me off today. When I hear them use that word for silly, rid rid ridiculous stuff, it angers me because you're saying that that's just as bad as what happened to me and what's happened to millions of people around the world. People who've lost loved ones to murderers, people who have lost loved ones to terrorism, 
people who have lost ones, loved ones to sexual abuse. So I ask you, why is it so easy? Why is it so easy to use that word instead of something else? Is there something that's chemically in there that that's the word you use for everything? Come on, someone tell me. Why is it so easy to use that word? Leave a comment down below. Let me see what your, your, your thoughts on all of this because it, it baffles me how easy it is for, for someone to use the most deadly word in the dictionary. I just don't know. Have, have we come that far now that we just hate everything? Is it more socially acceptable just to say that now? Instead of saying, oh, I don't like this. Rob, I don't like your video about this. Or are you going to say, I hate this video? You know what? All the negativity stuff like that is what's bringing this world down. That's what's bringing this world down, is the use of terrible words like that. Hell, I, I mentioned about uh, disliking the Halloween Kills trailer. Don't hate it, I mean, it's a movie trailer. I hear that more about movies than anything. I hate that movie. Oh, I'm sorry that you've done stuff better than that. Hmm. Are we so triggered now in this in this lifetime to just resort resort to just using that one one about everything in this world? So, all I ask, guys, is think before you speak. think you know that thing that's up here it's, it's, I think it's called the brain or something like that and if you still want to use that word I, hey I'm I'm in no position to tell anybody but I do have an opinion of what people of pe people who do that I call idiots so if you use that word and you got offended by me calling you an idiot. At least idiot's not a uh, harmful word like t uh, hurt is, like like hate is. Hell, people look at me all the time and say, oh, look at that idiot, Rob. <laughs> you think I'd give zero fucks? Oh. Give zero. No, but I have been hurt by that word of hate. Now that, that does affect me. But it also drives me too. Because your harmful words towards me ain't gonna stop this machine from running. But I can't say that for everybody. There's a lot of people that get affected. And there's a lot of people that have killed themselves over people who are bullies that use that word. Think about that. Next time you you call somebody an idiot. You don't know what that person... Or, um, next time you call that person... You're like, I hate you. No. Next time, think about that and... Then also think about what that person might be going through. That might be the uh, thing that pushes them over the edge.
people would probably say, well, you called me an idiot. Yeah. Because you use the word hate for saying, oh, I don't, I hate that person. Instead, I just don't like that person. There's many people I don't like. And that's okay. There's a lot of people that don't like me either. But I already named the people that I hate, I've hated in life. It's a very short list in 49 years. And the two people I, I named still held, hold that banner. Only because things that happened to me when I was a teenager doesn't mean it's not relevant anymore. It affected how I how I I live my life the next ten years, twenty years. Affects me today. I work on it every single day. Try to get rid of those demons. So seriously, next time you want to say you hate something, a person, a movie, or whatever, think about the lasting effects on that. Because uh, you might have sealed someone's uh, fate. You might have nailed somebody's coffin, if you will. You want to be... Responsible for someone, and yes, you would be responsible. You can't say, "Oh, I didn't know they were going." To. No, because honestly, everybody's going through something. You know, some more than others. Why do you want to add to that? So, whether it's a next door neighbor, a baseball team a movie, someone online, think before you speak. I do it all the time. Because there's a lot of times that I do get so upset that I want to say that word too. But I've trained my, uh, my mind to Take that out of my, my vocabulary. Start training your mind. Till next time. I hope I gave you something to think about. And if not, I don't care. Leave a comment in the section. Thank you for watching my video. And thank you for helping my channel. Because whether you like my video or don't like my video, it still helps. So thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. Much love, peace, harmony, stop hating.